if you are able to come to a new company with these kinds of recommendations and say, you know, we want to move towards, you know, constant uh, real-time detection, uh, you know, that's customized to uh, your specific platform and so forth. Like what are some cybersecurity skills that students or novice professionals should be learning and studying to stay ahead of the curve and, and be able to sort of deliver this to uh, whatever new company that they're starting with? Yeah, so a, a couple things. I mean, first of all, and I mentioned it earlier, you know, enough business knowledge and acumen to be able to communicate effectively mm -hmm. is, is critical. Right. Um, and so, um, you know, to the extent that you can, um, you know, use online training and, you know, as you advance in your career, you know, getting a, um, you know, a business certificate or an MBA or something like that to balance a technical background, I think is a really good long-term, you know, this is a long-term business risk management business that we're in and mm -hmm. it's not going away. Right. Um, you know, security guys and gals are, are chronically employable as a friend of mine once said. And, uh, um, and, and so the ability to integrate with the business and talk about risk uh, is, is really important. Um, additionally, you know, for the last 10 years or so, you know, we have largely been throwing people in tools and then, you know, by corollary money um, at, at the security problems. And, you know, obviously we can't continue to scale like that. Uh, right. And so, um, you know, investing in, and, and well, from a people perspective, understanding automation technologies, understanding I have to do air quotes around AI, ML, uh, right. you know, but I'm not saying that in the, the, the snake oil sense. I mean, there's real valuable things there. Yes. Um, that um, will, will help us do our jobs um, and will help focus the humans, you know, AI, machine learning, all that will never replace the humans. I tell the story, it's like, you know, the National Weather Service, you know, they all have models, but then there's, there's some meteorologist that looks at the models and says, right. here's what I think is going to happen, right? That's the way we're going to get into being yeah. in security. Yeah, there's no um, robot Tom Skilling to use another Chicago record. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, the, you know, understanding what, the you know AI and ML technologies are actually doing where they're helpful, how to interpret the results, how to use them to to, to lever up or again I have to you know force multiplier, mm -hmm. um, all these air quotes things um, to to really help your your organization scale right. uh, is 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 a really important skill set to have. Um, thirdly, defenders need to understand attackers. Um, okay. We are. Uh, we're we're minting security guys and gals as fast as we can because everybody understands the you know security skills shortage and yes. you know all of that sort of thing and that's wonderful and you know I'm I'm uh, happy to to see you know new folks entering the space but very often the new folks entering the space um, are your first line defenders uh, mm -hmm. very often you know your your newly minted guys and gals come in and help desk and sock rolls and things like that that you're they're uh, they're the level one defenders. And those are the people that have the lightest and the least developed instincts about, yes. you know, what's actually happening, um, what a bad guy is actually doing. You know, I've, I've shown, you know, newly minted security guys and gals, attacker tools like, you know, Mimi Cats and Bloodhound and things like that. And they think it's magic. Uh, you know, it's just um, a lack of familiarity. And so I would say every defender um, hang out with offensive testers. Okay. Um, you know, pen testers, offensive testers, that's great. You know, it's, <laughs> they're, they're an interesting bunch. Um, but <laughs> as a defender, you have to understand attackers have to understand how they think, how right. they view a system, what they do, how the spy versus spy or counter punch punch is, is going to work. Yep. Um, and that makes you a better defender. Yeah. Be comfortable with a, a wide range of tools and, and how to sort of use them creatively and, and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so um, for people who are looking to get into cybersecurity from other professions or people who feel stuck in their current job, uh, do you have any strategy tips you can recommend to help them get unstuck? Uh, you know, what's one thing you could recommend someone to do tonight that would help them get closer to doing this kind of work? Yeah, so there is a, a tremendous amount of cybersecurity content online. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not talking about the paid courses and the kind of the traditional, you know, repositories of knowledge, the paid courses are great. And I'm, you know, but this podcast, um, you know, there's a, a, all of the cybersecurity luminaries out there, or most of them, you know, write blogs, uh, you know, are, are present on Twitter, are present on LinkedIn, are, 
you know, on podcasts are, uh, are, 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 are sharing their craft. I mean, that is one wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing about the cybersecurity space. You know, even though it can seem impenetrable and, you know, be, uh, you know, populated by a bunch of grumpy people, um, really the, the amount of, of sharing and openness of the cybersecurity community is, is tremendous. Yeah. Um, and so um, I, I would suggest to anybody, you know, follow people, read, watch the videos and the podcasts, um, yep. you know, find, find a, a core list of, you know, 10 or 15 folks that, you know, are, are really interesting in your particular area. The, the cybersecurity area has, you know, 101 niches. Um, and, you know, it can seem daunting um, to, to somebody, you know, just kind of getting into the space. But, you know, there are a lot of niches that, that are interesting, everything from, you know, secure coding, web apps, yep. um, you know, that that's a whole practice right there. Um, you know, governance and controls and, uh, you know, kind of defense optimization, you know, that's a whole area. Offensive testing is a fantastic area. Um, you know, identity and authentication and authorization systems, that's an area that I have a particular, you know, interest and passion about. I mean, that's, that's a fantastic area. And it's the root of almost every security problem. I mean, almost every security yeah. problem started as an authentication and authorization uh, problem. Um, so, a lot, you know, pick some niches, you know, that, that kind of interest you pick some, you know, some, some personalities to, to follow and immerse yourself. New episodes of the Cyberwork Podcast are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to check out our hands-on training series, Cyberwork Applied. Each week, expert InfoSec instructors teach you a new cybersecurity skill and show you how that skill applies to real-world scenarios. Go to infosecinstitute.com learn to stay up to date on all things cyberwork.